Other news tonight addressing sea level rise along San Francisco's waterfront. City leaders announcing a draft plan that would completely reimagine the city's shoreline over many decades. Ground First Gail Ong joins us now live from the Embarcadero with details on this. Gail, big changes. Yes, big changes, Vicki, and still a long ways to go as we can imagine decades from now, but you know, they're looking to the future here. Now this draft plan was six years in the making and the people who studied it looked at a closer, they took a closer look at how to protect San Francisco's waterfront. And now the public will have the opportunity to weigh in on this plan. In the next century, by the end of this century, three to 7% of the, the waterfront will be covered in water. Yeah cannot allow a situation where the Embarcadero is being flooded regularly, where our Muni and BART tunnels are being flooded regularly. Elected officials from the state, federal, and the city of San Francisco addressing sea level rise Friday afternoon. For the past six years, the Port of San Francisco and the Army Corps of Engineers have been studying the coastal risk for the seawall, stretching 7.5 miles from Aquatic Park down to Heron's Head Park. Officials shared details from the waterfront flood study. This draft plan considers climate resiliency as a goal for the San Francisco waterfront. It establishes approximately where the Corps of Engineers and the city to build uh, coastal resiliency and mitigation features, both structural and nature based, and how much future sea level rise these features will have to manage before they need to be adapted to higher water levels. The draft plan does not include designs for flood defenses just yet, but it would require places like the Embarcadero to shut down to complete the work. This plan will be implemented over many decades, many decades, and the phasing and implementation strategies will be very important to us. It will also cost money. There's no doubt it's expensive. It has a price tag of multi-billions, 13 billion to be specific at this time. When we move forward on projects, the federal government will pay for 65 cents of every dollar that it costs, 65% contribution. The highest tides of the year, known as the King Tides, show a glimpse of how high the water can get along the Embarcadero waterfront. For now, these leaders want to keep talking about the issue. In some ways, we're like we're planting a tree. Future generations will enjoy, but we owe it to them. We owe it to them to make sure, to make sure we do this right. And as for the next steps, the public has 60 days to comment on this draft plan. After that, the Port of San Francisco and the Army Corps of Engineers will take that feedback and all that insight, and then they will determine what areas need funding the most. In the meantime, a final plan will be presented to Congress sometime before the year 2026. Reporting live from San Francisco, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.